Welcome to episode three of the Pop and Drill series. Uh, the videos in this series are designed specifically for dancers who want that crystal clear pop. The two key factors to achieve that are great muscle control and perfect rhythm, both of which are what we'll be covering. If you're new to my channel, I'm Seach, I teach, and I make dance tutorial videos. If you find my videos helpful and would like to support the channel, you could do so by clicking the like, subscribe if you haven't already, and also hit the bell icon for instant notification when I post. My tutorials are dance along videos, which means you can practice along with me as you watch. Every video has multiple drills, and each drill is about one minute, not too long, but enough to build muscle control and strengthen your rhythm. My challenge to you is try to keep up with me throughout the entire drill. If you can't do it at first, try again tomorrow because building muscle control and that perfect rhythm takes time and patience. For the tips and explanations of each drill, watch what at the end of the video. This is where I go over specific techniques on how to avoid some common mistakes. Now, if you're ready, I'll see you in the drills. Enjoy, have fun, and let's make it funky.
welcome to the review section. We're talking about drill number one right now. So before we get started, I wanna make sure you guys are aware of my body movement fundamental because a lot of what we do in popping drills, we gotta make sure we have proper body movement, all right? So in this case, we gotta know how to do a pivot as well as our balance, all right? So in this drill right here, I'm pivoting off the heel and toe, alternating heels and toe, okay? So I'm not, pivot, I'm not pivoting right here off the, the ball of your feet, which is the toe, okay? I'm not doing both toe. I'm going this toe right here, this is my left, okay? So left, I'm pivoting off the toe or pivoting on the toe so my heel goes out and the right, my toe goes out. So this is how I pivot, okay? So I'm gonna pivot the first two way counts, again, where we're doing a half time, which means we're hitting every two, fours, and six, okay? So I'm going one, two, right on the two, okay? Because right now I'm leaning forward, so I'm popping my right, okay? This is not a definite rule, because sometimes you can go like this and have your weight slightly back and you can pop the back leg, okay? But for this particular drill, if you want to, at first, kind of lean on the front. The reason why I say lean on the front is because our next move is this, okay? So it's easier if, I, if I'm starting already here because I pop here and then I wanna go over here, now my weight has to shift, okay? So again, back to this drill over here, we're going one, two, right on two, I'm leaning here, so I'm popping my right knee, okay? One, two, three, four. Again, this one has the balance activity with it, so make sure your balance is strong and you're popping on the two. Again, you're snapping leg back. If you're not aware of what we're doing with our knee, I highly suggest you go back to the popping tutorial drills where I specifically break down what the knees are doing, okay? But for this, I want you to incorporate pivoting, balancing as well. Okay, so here we go. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now on six, there's two options. Three, four, five, six, where I just put it down, or I go three, four, five, and six. You could do a, a ball change, okay? You could do that, or you could just put it down. So I believe in the drill, it kind of alternates back and forth. If you catch that, it's not a mistake. It's one of those things I want to show you both ways. It's a slight difference, but learn how to do both of them, okay? So, top, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. When I come back on seven, eight, I'm pivoting on the same toe and heel, but just in reverse order, coming back, facing the front, okay? Second eight count, everything the same, but mirror the opposite side. So now I'm going to my left. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Coming back on eight. Obviously, not just popping the legs, but our arms as well, okay? And again, if you're good, add the neck, the head, chest, if you can too, okay? So those two uh, combining, and then the second uh, second half, which is the third and the fourth eight count, we are doubling it, which is we start right in the one. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means we're popping on every beat. So when you watch for the cue where it says tempo, get ready, or tempo coming up, you're gonna get ready and start right on the one, okay? And, and the other one is the half time. Half time means you're only hitting on two, four, six, eight. All right? So that's our first drill. Remember, the balance is key. Timing is key. Timing, guys. We're drilling these simple movement, but once these simple movements are ingrained in our muscle memory, then this is where you could be creative. This is where you could be, uh, you know, developing your own style, if you will, your own flavor, okay? But the fundamental is still the same. Everybody still has to be perfectly on beat, and the better muscle control, and the quicker you can snap your muscle right on the beat, the better your pop's gonna look, right? So again, this is drill number one review. Watch it again if you, uh, if you miss anything. Again, this is the great thing about this video, you can always watch it. Once you feel comfortable with that, get to drill number two. All right, so this one is a little bit different where we're stepping on. It's, if you guys seen a uh, tutorial for Twistle Flex, I'll probably do another one. So Twistle Flex, you know, we start with this. So we're gonna start with this, arms up right here. 
And what is my hand doing? It's not, with this drill right now, it's not really important. You know, you have the hand position exactly, but the idea is you're, you're popping with your hands up, okay? Hands above your shoulder. Because too many times, popper are really good below the shoulders. You know, we're popping real hard down here. But once we get up to here, the angle is just slightly different. So what I want you to do is when you pop this one, try to get as much power up here as you did down here, okay? So we got one, two, three, and four. This is our quick step. It's the and four, it's the da-da, okay? So one more time, side view, what I'm doing is one, two, three, and four. Right on the four, boom, I stop or stop and put my hands right here together. This is, if you ever seen twist or flex, this is the motion for twist or flex, okay? So again, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Like a walkout, but what I want you guys to remember is I want you to know how to do that, that quick ball change, right leg as well as left leg. So we start with the right side, okay? Seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Right leg, five, six, seven, eight. So I start with the right leg, I walk with the right leg. Next eight count is the left side. So I got one, two, and four. Left leg, five, six, seven, eight. Left leg, right leg, right leg, left leg, left leg, okay? And as far as the arms right now, what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm leaning back. You see how this, so I'm not going like this. It's not, I don't put the pressure, the weight is not in, the, in front of me. Right when I step, boom, the weight's still kind of behind, okay? Here, and then coming back. This is like a classic electric boogaloo walk out, okay? So one more time, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, and four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the halftime, okay? That was the one only on popping on twos and fours. Now, when we say tempo, we're gonna pop on every beat. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? This is great because instead of, as you get better, instead of going to the back or something, you can not only that, you can go to the front, to the side, and let your imagination take wow, well, okay? So the idea is you're going step, step. It's a step, step, touch, uh, either forward, side, okay? And then also walk out. It's easy walking out forward. But later on, as we get more into it, you know, we have double walkout where we go, we switch directions, all right? All right, guys, hopefully you guys got a better understanding of drill number two. Keep drilling it, make sure it's in you. Again, do not compromise the timing. Do not compromise the timing. Too many poppers want to get good so quickly that it looks like you're good, but you kind of know you didn't do good and you're trying to move forward. Don't do that, don't do that. Get back into drilling it. Get back into drilling this. Make sure that you know that you got it good, all right? And again, for those that maybe want some personal feedback, hit me up, drop in the comments or email me and say, hey, teach, can you see exactly what I'm doing? What am I doing that correctly? If you don't know, you can feel free to ask me, all right? All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you in drill number three. So in this section, we're, taught, we're basically taking the moves from drill one and two, we're combining it together. We're keeping the right side, right side, and left side, left side. That's how it goes, check it out. First eight count, right? We've done this before. Two, four, six, eight. Now, in the first drill, we immediately went to the left side. We're gonna keep it on the right side, okay? So now we got one, two, and four, six, eight. Now we go to the left side. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, all right? And then we double it, right? We'll do tempo. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, six, other side. Boom, boom, ka, ka, boom, ka, 
Boom. Da, da, da. Boom. Da. Okay? So mixing those two up, right side, right side, left side, left side. Drill number three should be simple, should be easy if you master drill number one and number two. These are great simple moves, but the, but the fundamental is very, very important. Being able to pop when you're balancing on one leg, okay? Whether I'm here or here. Maybe later on in other episodes, we're gonna talk about how to pop with your legs in this different position. Single leg. Balancing and popping at the same time is not an easy thing to do. That's why these drills, we do them over and over again so eventually they become easy. Okay guys, hope you guys have fun. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe. Share this video for anybody who's interested in popping. Not just popping, anybody who's interested in adding to their dance repertoire. And right now, being that we're all quarantined, this is a great, great time to enhance yourself. Definitely your dance skills. Okay guys, I'm out. See you in my next video. Peace.